Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this coordinate system and vector problem, they give us an A and a B, and we have to figure out the X and the Y components for both of these. So for A, they want us to figure out the X and the Y components with respect to angle theta. So theta for the X component, if you look at the grid, all of the X components for this vector E are in the negative X direction. So both for A and B, the X component should be negative. The Y component for the vector is going in the positive Y direction. So both the Y components for both angles will be positive, of course. So for theta in the X component, that is adjacent to the angle. So we'll be using cosine and that is from SOHCAHTOA. So sine of the angle, cosine of the angle and tangent of the angle. And so since we're using cosine, let's write that. So cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. To isolate A, we'll multiply both sides of the equation by the hypotenuse. So this is essentially the answer for right here, but what is H? In this case, H is the vector E. So we have a negative vector E times the cosine of theta is the X component. The Y component is the opposite to the angle, and so we'll be using sine, and that is the same thing, sine of the angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. We want to isolate opposite, so we'll multiply both sides by the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is, of course, E, so this will be a positive vector E times the sine of the angle theta will give you the y component. Now when we do b, it's the exact same process. And I should have drawn this for part a, but if you look at it, we essentially have two triangles. We have this one for a, and then this one for b. Right here is e, and right here is e. This is the x-axis. This is extrapolated over from the y. So this one, you have the X component extrapolated up and the Y axis right here. If that's a little bit confusing for you, I just took this spot and drew it right here. And then this triangle, drew it right here. So for phi, we want to take the X component. We want the opposite of the angle now. So we'll use this exact process right here. I don't need to go through it again because it's the exact same. So we have a negative E times the sine of angle phi will give us the x component. And the y component is the exact same process right here for this component, which will be cosine. So the adjacent in this case will be positive vector e times the cosine of phi. So here are your answers for the X and the Y components for A and B with respect to theta and phi.